today we're gonna play with the top luxury all day lipsticks. So we're looking for really opaque color, really comfortable wear, and then obviously the longest wear time, but still looks beautiful and the lips don't feel dry. So let's just jump right into it. First one is the Smashbox. This is their always on cream to matte lipstick. And we picked up shade Hoops On, and this retails for $24. Next we have Giorgio Armani, and this is their Intense Matte and Comfort lip color. And we picked up shade Diva 200, and the Armani retails for 38 US dollars. Next we have Dior Classic. This is their Ultra Rouge Hydra Lipstick Weightless Wear. We picked up shade 883 Ultra Poison, and this retails for $38 as well. Next, we have Charlotte Tilbury. This is her Matte Revolution Luminous Modern Matte Long Lasting Lipstick in shade Scarlet Spell. This retails for $34. And last but not least, we have Givenchy. This is their La Rouge Deep Velvet in shade 38 Granite. And this retails for $38 as well. These are all top rated. They have really good reviews and they're all rated for ultra long wear. So I'm excited. I wanna play with the least expensive out of the five, the Smashbox, the always on cream to matte lipstick. And I am not gonna do any lip liners with these because I feel like lip liners, they extend the wear time of most lipsticks. So I really wanna see the lipstick on their own to see how they really wear. Are they comfortable? Do they smudge? Do they smear? All of those things. I'm just taking off whatever lip balm I have on my lips and let's begin with the Smashbox. This is the cream to matte formula. It transfers to a velvety matte on contact. And then it lasts all day. It won't cake, it won't flade, flake, it won't fade, and it won't bleed or feather. Packaging is really nice, very sleek. It actually shows you the color at the very top, and that's a really interesting lipstick. So I'm gonna use the tips to kind of line the lips and then fill in. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's very creamy and very opaque. All right, so this lipstick, it sets quick. And yeah, even on the yeah. box, it says right here, yeah. saturated pigment glides on and sets fast. I don't know how fast it was gonna be, but it set fast. So I had to go in with my cellar water to clean up these edges. And I did a horrible job at lining my lips. And it definitely feels, like you can see, it kind of feels sticky and it looks sticky. It feels thick on the lips. I felt like I didn't even apply that much product, but I wanna see how transfer resistant it is. Whoa, whoa, hold on. So far, just the outline, but in the center, there's no transfer. I did, did not expect that. Let's go on with it with our day and see how well this lip wears because as of right now, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> Doing the first update, it's been like a little over four hours since we applied the lipstick and we just had lunch. Honestly, I'm quite happy with the way it's wearing. Yes, it's definitely coming off the corners of my mouth and inside, but the way it's fading, it's like a really nice soft fade. I do have to kind of fix it right here, but it's still really comfy. I actually like the way it's fading and wearing off. I was trying to take like bigger bites and I could definitely see the lipstick coming off on the fork. But in my mind, when I was gonna look in the mirror, I was expecting like a lot of patchiness, like a lot of balding areas, but it's fading really beautifully. I'm quite happy with the way it's wearing. So before dinner, I do wanna reapply the lipstick. I'm just gonna use the brush that I used before and you can see what it's looking like it's looking quite dry it's like exaggerating every texture every wrinkle that looks better already i think this product definitely bleeds and it's like cracking a little bit i'm gonna leave this at home and we'll see what this looks like at the end of the night so it's been 12 hours a little more than 12 hours and mm, we had dinner 
you guys saw that I reapplied a tiny bit to the centers to the center of my top and bottom lip right before dinner and it's not looking great let's put it that way I think it's a a nice lipstick for five six hours formula is honestly it's not bad it's not the most drying but it's definitely not the most comfortable it's definitely one of the more opaque formulas that go from creamy to like a velvety matte finish which i think if you enjoy a matte lipstick you will really enjoy this so i'll see you guys tomorrow with the next lipstick for today's lipstick of choice we're doing the charlotte tilbury this is her matte revolution Luminous Modern Matte Long Lasting, Lasting Lipstick in shade Scarlet Spell. And I do believe this is a limited edition, but she does have her range for the matte finish, the long lasting matte finish. So they're saying this is a matte lipstick with a long lasting buildable and hydrating formula. I really like that. This formula is a lot easier to draw on your lips just from the tube, just because the formula is so movable. It's definitely not as pigmented or as opaque as the Smashbox lipstick. And I still have time to play with my formula and move it around on my lips. Wow, that's a really pretty formula. We are out and about and I wanted to do a quick update after having a late lunch, how the lipstick is looking. Surprisingly, it's doing pretty good in terms of wear. The only thing you can see on the outer corners and then in the center, but the thing is about this formula, it's like taking my lips and squeezing them as the lipstick dries down, which is good because it's not transferring as much, but then it's making it really uncomfortable on the lips because you can see like my lips just look so extra wrinkly. I can feel my lips being really tight, especially right here in the center when they're usually not. So I feel like with this lipstick, to make it more of a comfortable wear, you have to reapply it and then kind of blot it into your lips or maybe even take like a Kleenex kind of blot off some of that pigment and then really help it dry down but as of right now it's not that comfortable when it dries down so that's really intriguing we're at the end of the night with the Charlotte Tilbury matte lipstick and I want to say it's looking similar but it's looking worse the thing is it is definitely bleeding and it's looking pretty bad around the entire mouth or the lips. You can see where it took off, basically where I'm eating and drinking. So honestly, without lip liner, it's looking pretty good for longevity, but it's not looking good. It's not looking crisp on the outer corners of my lips because it is bleeding pretty bad. Like the one thing I was saying to make this last longer, a long wearing lip liner underneath and then blotting the lipstick to make sure everything is nice and set before eating, drinking, going on with their day. But comfortability, like I still feel like my lips are extra wrinkly. It's not pulling or it's not making my lips as tight as it was after lunch. You can definitely see all the wrinkles exaggerated. So I definitely need to exfoliate and scrub my lips tonight and then plop on, plop on some lip masks to really make sure my lips are nice and prepped for tomorrow. But they're not feeling too bad. Like I don't feel like my lips are peeling. They're just feeling a little tight and just very wrinkly. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next lipstick. For today's lipstick, we're gonna do the Givenchy Le Rouge Deep Velvet in shade 38 Granite Fume. This one says it's in a velvet case, which is true. 12 hour wear and exceptional glide. And then here is the color. And again, I'm gonna mention it one more time. These types of shades, darker reds, reds, beautiful with the lip liner. But again, we're only testing the lipstick formula and to see how well they apply on the lips without a lip liner. This lipstick right here, it's a little more solid than the Charlotte Tilbury and actually, no, it's kind of similar to the Smashbox, but it's definitely more solid than the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. So it's not really moving too much in the tube, which is nice. I think it might wear really great with a lip liner. I'm gonna have to clean up, but I'm just gonna go with my same pencil applicator. I have a feeling this lipstick is also going to bleed. I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer and clean up right there. I'm just using NARS Soft Matte. Okay, the formula is very comfortable. I think so far out of the three, this one is the most comfortable to apply. Since it's still not set, it's looking like a very soft matte, but definitely a little more matte than the Charlotte Tilbury and not as matte as the Smashbox. But I'm really loving this color. I think it's such a beautiful color. I'll see you guys in a little bit and we'll see how it's wearing. Okay, it's been, what, 12 hours, a little more and the lipstick is pretty much gone. <laughs> 
And I actually didn't reapply the lipstick. All I did was took the same applicator that I applied in the beginning today and whatever was left on the applicator, I kind of just helped smudge it into my lips and then went to dinner we got some tacos and then i'll insert the clip right here really quickly what the lips look like after one taco and you can still see the lips lipstick is still there but it's looking really uneven and inconsistent but <laughs> like there's nothing left the only thing i can see is like right here and a little bit right here, but otherwise like it's completely gone. Maybe it was like after the oils from the barbecue with the tacos that are really like broke down the lipstick and it was really easy for me to just lick it off. But otherwise, like I have no idea where the lipstick went. You can see by the state of my lips, my lips look, my lips look quite dry and they look white. The one thing I do wanna say, it didn't bleed into like past my lip lines, which I'm really excited about, especially a formula so creamy and so rich in pigment. I'm really happy that it didn't bleed. I'm gonna leave it there and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next lipstick. For today's lipstick, we're gonna play with the Dior. This is their Ultra Rouge. I have the shade 883 Ultra Poison. This right here is an ultra pigmented lipstick with up to 12 hour wear, a luminous semi-matte finish, and a hydrating, comfortable formula with intense saturated color. I like that. So let's put this on and see if it really is intense. I'm excited for this color. Oh yeah. Very creamy, very opaque, very easy to draw on. It does have a slight scent, but it's not intense. This reminds me of the Givenchy formula, the way it applied, and it's very pigmented. So this, this is reminding me a little bit more closer to the Givenchy formula rather than the Smashbox or the Charlotte Tilbury. Without a lip liner, you can be a little bit precise, but I would definitely have to go in and clean it up or use a lip liner before and then fill this in. I'm gonna take my, the same brush I've been using with all the other lipsticks, the Real Techniques. I really like this formula. Let's do a little kiss test. Yep, I think this is the most, along with the Givenchy. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit with the updates. Last and final update for the Dior Ultra Rouge lipstick. But the lipstick is still kind of there. It looks like I have lip liner on. My lips look dry, but they're actually really soft, really comfortable. And surprisingly, for dinner we had takeout and we got yaki noodles, so good. And I was honestly thinking there was gonna be nothing left on my lips, kind of like the Givenchy just kind of disappeared after dinner but <laughs> there's something still there. And I didn't reapply the Dior lipstick at all today. It's well over 12 hours, so I'm, that's why I'm kind of impressed that there is at least something left on my lips. I'm gonna leave it there for now, but then I'll come back tomorrow and we'll finish the very final lipstick for this video. We're finally down to lipstick number five. This is the Giorgio Armani, their intense matte and comfort lip color. And this right here, it's a full coverage lipstick with a matte finish that provides a vibrant color and lasting hydration for eight hours. So I think this is this might be the lowest in terms of what they claim. Let's apply this on and see how creamy the application, how it feels, and then of course, how it wears and how it lasts. Wow, oh, it's creamy. Oh, okay, hold on. It has some kind of glitter, like a gold glitter in here. Wow, okay, this is like very different than anything that I would ever choose. As of right now, it's creamy, but it's not as creamy as Givenchy and Dior. It's pretty even, I would say, in color, but you have to be really precise of how you apply it. So again, I'm gonna keep repeating myself, a lip liner. I'm gonna clean up a little bit with concealer around the edges right here. I just quickly wanna kiss my hand and see how much transfer I get. Ooh, that's not bad. I was expecting a lot more than that. All right, I honestly didn't think I was gonna like this lip color as much as I am enjoying it so much. One thing I am a little bit concerned about is because of that metallic, is it gonna make my lips really dry? And another thing with this lipstick is because it does have metallic. It kind of 
broke apart in certain areas and it's kind of, I can't even explain the texture. It's more of like a cream eyeshadow texture now. The one thing about this I wanna do is say, the glitter is very, very fine. I can't really feel it on my lips, but I do wanna say it's definitely not the softest texture on my lips. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit with how it's wearing. Last and final update for the Giorgio Armani lipstick. There's still a little bit left. <laughs> This one was claiming that it was up to eight hours of wear. So what happened was we came home after lunch. I did reapply it using my little pencil brush, just a little bit right here in the center and then a little bit on the bottom lip. It's kind of, it's gone. The only areas is just like a tiny bit left right here and then in some of the cracks. Honestly, the way it wore, it was very comfortable. It didn't dry out my lips. I didn't feel like I had to peel them. It didn't do anything weird, like tighten my lips or anything like that. But it definitely, we're a while over to what, 14 hours? For dinner, we had like a cookout, grill out. It was just some seafood and some like chicken and some other stuff that we had for dinner. A lot of like indulgent type of a food, butter, you know what I mean? Like really creamy type of a food. So I'm kind of shocked that I still have a little bit something left on my lips. So I'm gonna leave it there for right now and I'll come back and we'll talk about overall what I think about all the lipsticks. So now that we've had a chance to wear them, really experience them one to one, I think I do wanna say the longest to wear was definitely the Smashbox. It was the least amount of transferring, but because it was so opaque and it was so intense in color, I think it was one of the more noticeable ones where you saw where it wore off and it was the least expensive. So Smashbox, I think wins in all of these for the longest wear time, even though I did reapply a little bit, but there was still the most amount left at the very end of the night. The most comfortable, I have two that are tied. The most comfortable, I wanna say the Dior and Givenchy. Even though both of them kind of were not there, <laughs> Most of the lipstick was not there at the very end of the night. They were still very, very comfortable throughout the day. The formula is very creamy. The way it was blendable, the way it built the formula up. It was just a very comfortable formula to wear throughout the day. But I think Dior kind of takes the cake on all of them because at the end of the night, my lips still felt quite soft. They still felt nourished, moisturized, and they didn't feel chapped or I felt like I had to like peel the lipstick off my lips, which I felt like with the Charlotte and the Smashbox, I think that's where the Smashbox kind of loses some points for me just because my lips felt so drying and it just felt quite uncomfortable. Because all of them are luxury and they're quite pricey, not quite, they're very expensive for one tube of lipstick. I was also kind of looking at the smell, the experience, because I want to I want to feel good when I'm putting on such an expensive lipstick. And I want to say the Givenchy from the packaging and the way it applied is just, it was such a beautiful, luxurious lipstick and it felt nice to apply this lipstick and it felt good. And the next one was definitely the Giorgio Armani. I just, I think their packaging is stunning. But I think the one thing with this, I didn't know this was going to be a metallic shade. So I think the one thing with this lipstick overall, why I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought it was going to, was because of the metallic in the lipstick. So that glitter kind of felt, I wanna say rough. It was still very comfortable formula, but I felt like it could have been better. Overall, I do wanna say that all of these lipsticks, you can extend the wear time by applying a lip liner, blotting the lipstick once you're done with the application and kind of let it, helping it set in place. But I'm really happy I did this test and yeah, there's some really great luxury lipsticks out there and some not so great. Please share some of your favorite lipsticks that you find are worth investing into that you enjoy wearing. It makes you feel good when you put that lipstick on your lips and which shade is your favorite. But for now you guys, thank you for watching, spending time with me and these five luxury lipsticks. And we'll see the next one very soon. Bye.